Today's assignment is to create a PowerPoint about your tech life. And hopefully you've already done watch this video that about setting up the student accounts. You want to have created a folder for your chapter one, and this is where you're going to save your uh, PowerPoint project. So make sure that you've gone through this video and set up the folders that I ask you to. Here's some information about the PowerPoint you're going to be creating. If you've already used PowerPoint, then this information might be good enough. It's got all the steps that you need. I've also got step-by-step -step instructions here, but I'm going to give just kind of walk you through a few things in PowerPoint that might be helpful, just kind of as reminders or things to know so that you can feel more comfortable creating your assignment. You should be able to find PowerPoint by clicking on your Start button and then going to All Programs and looking for Microsoft Office. It is part of the Microsoft Office package. So you'll find it there, and when you click on it, you'll get something that looks kind of like this. Now you won't have anything recent, so just ignore that. Here's your choices over here, and you want to choose a blank presentation. So go ahead and click on it, or do a double click. It's going to start off with a title slide. Now this is going to be your tech life, so I can my title might be My Tech Life. And for the subtitle, you can put your name. Now this looks pretty boring. It's just white with really dull text. So, But instead of changing something right here, you want to let the computer do your work for you by using a design template. So I'm going to come across the top. You see where your menu items are. And I'm going to click Design. And now here are several options for my designs. And I can click on this little down arrow and maybe get a few more. It doesn't seem like enough, but really it's enough. So you don't have to worry about picking something else or creating a design template. Just use one that's already given to you. And you can always make a few changes. So maybe I want to pick this. I might not like green. But if I like the actual layout of it, then this is the one I would select. Now I can come over here to Variants, and I can even make some more choices. So I can change to a different color. You can see I have pink, blue, just different colors. And then I can even come here and choose different, even more different colors. And if you go through it, it kind of shows you what it'll look like. So you have lots of choices here without doing a lot of work. You don't need to sit there and customize anything. Just pick one that looks right for you. And then you can even pick the fonts if you like to. Now the fonts should go with it really well, so you don't have to change the fonts. And in fact, I encourage you not to. But if you really want to change the fonts, then pick something here and then let the computer do the work for you. Don't try and go from page to page, slide to slide, and change everything. Just set everything up and let the computer do all the work for you. So you should not be going through each, each, each slide, selecting a background, or doing something really busy. That just makes it look kind of messy and kind of unprofessional. So we're going to let the computer do the work for us by selecting a design and setting things up here and just moving forward. We do not need to use the format background or anything else. We're just going to stick with the regulars and it will always look good. Now that I've got my title slide, I need to add more slides. I'm going to do that under the Home tab. So click on Home and you'll see right here, close by, just under Insert, is New Slide. You click on it, it's just going to take you right to the next slide and it's ready to go. You can look on the instructions to see what each slide is supposed to be. The next one is going to be your computer experience. So I might say my computer experience. I'm going to give every slide a title. And then I'm going to use my bulleted list to just list what I already know how to do on a computer. I'm going to worry about pictures later, so just go through and add all the slides that you need to to complete the assignment. You can click on new slide as often as you need to. The last slide is going to be a t an ending slide. I can leave it just like this, or I can change the layout back to title slide for the end. Once you've got all your slides, I would also like for you to do a transition. This is how you go from slide to slide. So you'll find transitions here next to design. I'm going to click on it. Here's some transitions, but once again, I can click on my little triangle, and I can get lots more. Some of these are pretty cool, but they can also get really annoying because they can take long and you know just you know fills up a lot of time. So be careful about which transition you pick. Even though you think it's cool, it just might really slow things down. And just think about how long do you really want to wait when you're going from slide to slide. So maybe I pick something like Ripple. I can pick a different transition for each slide, or I can pick one and I can apply it to all. Another thing you can do is adjust the duration. So if you're picking one that's a little bit annoying, you can set it to go faster so it doesn't take up too much time or get too annoying. And then apply to all unless you want to go to each slide separately. I can look over here and see a little star. 
by each number so I know that each one has a transition. Now finally what you might want to do is add some pictures. I do not want you to take a lot of time and look for pictures on the internet. That's just not really a good waste of time because I've already got a lot of good pictures for you. From our class website you'll see a link to the tech pics. These are the pictures that we saw on the first day of school in our activity plus a lot more. It's going to just come up on the internet. You'll see all these pictures and a little thumbnail of each one. You can scroll through, find a picture that you might like, and I can click on it. Uh, maybe I want to do a texting one. And then you can do a right mouse click to copy, come back here to your PowerPoint, and do a paste on whichever page you want, and resize it, and um, make sure that everything looks good. You should never have more than one picture on a slide because, once again, it would just kind of look messy. So here's a few tips for you uh, just to help you get started in case you weren't sure where to find some of these things. Maybe you haven't heard of a transition before. Uh, don't even worry about animations unless you do them correctly. They just messy up your um, PowerPoint. So just stick with the basics. Make it look good. Make it look professional. And get all your text in. And that is your assignment for today.